Yes, we are at the repair cafe this morning. It's basically a charitable uh, option where you can bring your damaged uh, laptop or item to get a repair free of charge, but not completely free of charge because you give a donation. So, yeah, we brought my laptop. This yeah, because yeah. my laptop had a little problem, so we're gonna attempt fixing my laptop. And I'm here with my my oh. husband Jimmy. No, <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah. we've attempted, um, yeah, so far repairing it, and it's still been repaired. Um, yeah, so just waiting patiently. Yeah. Um, this is how the repair cafe looks. Hi. So repairs have been done, and people, some locals have brought some of the items to get repaired, and um, it's exciting. So yeah, the paperwork's with that. Right, I'm going to try it. Do you want to do some lenses and things like that? It's not mine. Is it going to Swansea? I mean, Cool Dance Tears. Oh, and then he will come back with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So how the project all started, the repair cafe, Chris. Yeah. This is Chris. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So we started Are you the project leader or whatever? Yeah, so we started this project in uh, 2001. Yes. Part, yeah. uh, not 2001, 2021 as part of the <laughs> oh, okay. Beyond Recycling Swansea project. Yeah. Uh, and that project's all about reducing waste to landfill and repairing things and fixing things. Mm -hmm. So we've set up this repair cafe yeah. and it's been going for three or so years now and it's got really popular. Mm. So our first funding was through the Landfills Disposals Tax Scheme wow. mm. and then we've had funding from uh, People's Postcode Lottery yes. and that's who's funding us at the moment. Uh, without interrupting what you say, I just think it's a great project, you know. Mm. Um, yeah, I just think it's a nice idea. Mm. And how then... Um, do you uh, sustain the project since it's only donation based? Is it? Yeah, so I mean, luckily it doesn't cost that much to run because everybody's volunteers. Yes. And the Environment Centre gives us the space for free. Yeah. So the repair cafe is sort of self sustaining. Yeah. We have help from the council because they provide us tools every um, every time, so we don't have to spend very much money on, on tools. So it's actually quite a low cost, yeah. cost project. But we wouldn't be able to do it without the skills without of the all skills. our volunteers. Who come in. Well, and that, that's you. the big thing. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. And um, this is from my YouTube channel, and I'm glad you did answer the question. <laughs> and also, yeah, I have my laptop this morning. So. <laughs> is this my phone? No. No. Yeah, guys, we, we, I just spoke to Chris, um, the project manager. He's actually, um, you know, he's actually confirmed that this is a great project. And, um, yeah, and the project has started, it's been a couple of years, and it's going well. People are bringing their stuff to get, you know, repair done. And, uh, yeah, keep watching. Yeah, you've done and it. it oh, well secure. done. Wow, yeah, so, amazing. You're yeah, genius. Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah, I'll get you. I'll bring it back to Carl. Okay. <laughs> 
I think it's sad as some kind of blue. I said uh, yeah. potentially the problem. Yeah. Uh, so I've done that. That's that's fixed both sides. Uh, yeah. Alright, thank you. Thank you.